Seven signs. God will show when someone has bad intentions for you. Not everyone who enters your life comes with good intentions, and sometimes it's hard to discern who's truly for you and who isn't. While people may wear masks and disguise their true motives, God in his wisdom and love always provides ways for us to see the truth. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 says, Behold, I send you out as sheep amid wolves. Therefore be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. This reminds us to be alert to the people around us. In this video, we will explore seven clear signs God will show you when someone has bad intentions for you. These signs may not always be obvious, but through prayer, discernment, and a close relationship with God, you can recognize when something is off. Whether it's a sudden unease in your spirit, repeated patterns of manipulation, or even direct warnings from God through dreams or other believers, we will break down the ways God reveals the truth. If you've been unsure about someone in your life, this video will help you seek God's guidance in protecting your heart and surrounding yourself with people who have your best interest at heart. Remember, bad company corrupts good manners. That said, let's explore these seven signs. The first sign is that they always make you feel worthless. In the bid to live a fulfilled life, some statements and actions should never play out around you. This means you have to be decisive when it comes to the things you hear, see, or do, because there are people who consciously or ignorantly do the devil's bidding. Once you let them into your space, you become a victim. Have you had a situation where you shared an idea or a goal with someone, expecting a good review or a boost, but what you get gives you cold feet? Almost immediately, you felt discouraged and felt like a piece of rag. At that moment, you felt like there was nothing available for you in this world. All these negative feelings came about as a result of your association and communication with the wrong person. Unfortunately, this may have happened countless times and you just wave it off. But this message comes as a reminder to you. And the message is that God is showing you a toxic fellow around you. The purpose of showing you this is not to manifest the gift of endurance. Rather, it is meant to reveal the bad intentions of an individual around you and allow you to cut off from such a fellow. God never intended that your life become controlled by the statements or beliefs of people. If God has a good intention for you as declared in the scriptures, who is man that you're mindful of the things they say? You see, when God plants the right person in your heart, they will manifest the fruits of the Spirit and also be a representative of God in your life. But when the devil plants someone in your life, they will do his bidding. If you're under the influence or oppression of someone who seeks to demean you, here's a scripture for you. Romans chapter 8, verses 33 and 34. Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? Will God? No. He is the one who has given us the right to stand with himself. Who then will condemn us? Will Christ Jesus? No. For he is the one who died for us and was raised to live for us and is sitting at the place of highest honor next to God, pleading for us. This is the knowledge God desires you have. Don't be swayed by the demeaning statements from people and let your life not be controlled by what others think of your plan of the purpose of God for your life. Remember they asked in the Bible, can anything good come out to Nazareth? That statement shows there was no good report from Nazareth, but fortunately, the greatest being that walked the shores of the earth and still has a great place in heaven was a Nazarene. Jesus came to break the evil verdict that plagued Nazareth. Sometimes when you're around the wrong company, your dreams look like an impossible task. Today, break away from such a company. The second sign is that they project different acts of sin. Have you been around someone whose speech is void of godliness and the fear of God? The atmosphere around such a person is always filthy and favors the devil's presence. If you have such an individual around you, that's a clear sign that your mind and ways are about to be polluted. There are so many negative experiences that will happen to you when you're around someone who projects sin. That's why Psalms chapter 1 verse 1 says, Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around with sinners, or join in with scoffers. 
When your friend or acquaintance always finds joy in talking about the sweetness of sin, such a person has a bad intention for you. How do I know this? Before they do that, they have an idea of what you believe in, your faith in God and your resolve to stand for righteousness. But despite all that, they still come to pollute your mind with all shades of sinful words and actions. Listen, dear friend, if you don't pick this signal and flee, they will end up polluting your mind and take you back to the world. Here's a scripture for you. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, it reads, Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? The third sign that God will show you when someone has a bad intention for you is that they go behind your back to spite you. There is no friendship or relationship without issues. This is because we are all mortals and human feelings will always spring up with misunderstandings between two parties. So when a misunderstanding springs up between you and a friend, it's expected that it gets resolved almost immediately. But when issues between you and an individual become a legal ground for a long-term misunderstanding and emotional damage, it then shows that such a person has a negative intention towards you. You may have abided by the scripture, making peace with all men. You tried reaching out to your friend as regards a misunderstanding, but it never worked out. Rather, your friend made it a duty to spite you unwilling to resolve any misunderstanding, having such a friend is a clear sign that you are in the wrong company. Here's what Proverbs chapter 26 verses 24 to 26 says. People with hate in their hearts may sound pleasant enough, but don't believe them. Though they pretend to be kind, their hearts are full of all kinds of evil. While their hatred may be concealed by trickery, it will finally come to light for all to see. This scripture points to the fact that your friend or acquaintance is acting intentionally to hurt you. They can resolve an issue, but they would rather ruin your reputation or integrity among people. Anyone in your company who sees a misunderstanding as a tool of revenge and resentment, God is trying to tell you to avoid such a fellow. You may have observed their ill-mannered behavior, but don't just endure, walk away before you fall prey to their destructive act. The fourth sign is having an unsettling feeling of being around that person. As a believer, your spirit can repel the presence of an intruder or an enemy. You don't always have to hear an audible voice from God as regards certain issues. Being unsettled whenever you're around someone is a sign that they nurture evil against you. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 3 says, A prudent person foresees the danger ahead and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. When God sends a nudge to your mind as regards a particular fellow, he expects you to act fast so that you avoid being a victim. So here's a warning. Whoever your spirit repels the presence of someone around you, never struggle to flow with the tide, rather break away. There is something negative God is shielding you from, and the best way He can do that is to communicate to your spirit. You may not sense it with your emotions, but with your spirit. I believe you have the spirit of discernment, hence your spiritual senses can identify what is not of God. Beyond that, the Holy Spirit cannot thrive where there is evil. So here's the message. When your spirit repels anyone around you, don't take it for granted. The fifth sign is subtle manipulation. For every word that comes out of the mouth of someone you look up to or trust, there's a level of influence they have in your life. When someone knows their words have an impact on your life, they either make you a slave to their words or help you walk through life in wisdom. Manipulation can be achieved through words and gestures. If anyone around you always uses words or actions to influence you negatively, that's a sign that they have a negative intention towards you. You may have experienced a situation where someone influenced your decision negatively, but you only discovered it after you had fulfilled their desire. Being in such a situation tells you that you are vulnerable to subtle manipulation from an individual. This experience was profound in the life of Samson, a man of great strength. He met a woman called Delilah, a Philistine. 
Samson's eyes were blinded by lust. He never knew all the questions Delilah threw at him were subtle means of destroying him. Sadly, he fell for that trap, but before he did, God showed him mercy, but he never discerned, nor did he change his ways. You can subtly be manipulated by your friends or acquaintances, and this may come as a result of the pressure to share your secrets with your friends. In exposing your strengths and weaknesses, you become vulnerable to the desires of people who mean evil to you. So, dear friend, if you find yourself falling into the trap of a manipulative person, that's a sign that you're in the wrong zone. God has opened your eyes as he did to David while he played the stringed instrument at King Saul's palace. When David noticed that Saul wanted to kill him, he fled immediately. When you're dealing with a manipulative person, don't think so much about their actions. Rather, flee immediately. This is because the more you listen to a manipulative person, the deeper their influence over your life. That's why Samson couldn't break free from Delilah's grip, likewise Jezebel's influence on Ahab. Whatever the case, never stay around a manipulative person. The sixth sign is they bear false witness against you. Anyone who has a negative intention towards you will always speak badly about you behind your back. There are places where your voice or presence is not heard or felt, but with the right friend or company you have no cause to worry. But when you have that individual who seeks to dent your image in your absence but smiles with you afterwards, that's enough to put you in check. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 19 says, A false witness who pours out lies, a person who sows discord among brothers. When someone bears false witness against you, the aim is to sow a seed of discord and rub your name in the mud. If you're surrounded by people who falsify information in the bid to take you down, it's a profound sign that they harbor evil intentions toward you. Remember, the devil possesses this attribute. The Bible calls him a liar and an accuser, always looking to destroy the integrity of a believer. In the same manner, those who are vulnerable to the devil's schemes will always fulfill their desires on earth. You may be around someone who is greatly influenced by the devil and always seeks to bear false witness against you. Reading through the scriptures, you'll find out that many Bible characters faced a season in their life where falsehood became a tool for the devil's attacks. The disciples of Jesus were able to identify that some Jewish scholars and priests had evil intentions against them because they bore false witness against them. Many lies against Jesus and his disciples just to get them arrested and killed. Today we find the same accusers around us and God is saying you should be on guard. The seventh sign God will show you when someone has bad intentions towards you is the discrepancy between their words and actions. Matthew chapter 7 verse 20 says, Yes, the way to identify a tree or a person is by the kind of fruit that is produced. Being truthful is a virtue of a believer. Anyone whose action does not match their words has every tendency to ruin your life. They can go ahead to proclaim the gospel, quoting scriptures in every conversation, but their works project sin and darkness. Such persons have no base in God. They serve God with their mouths, but their hearts are far away from God. That's why Jesus declared in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. With this in mind, if the Lord Jesus can refute any false claim that people make in his name, you also need to be wary of people whose words never match their actions. Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples of Jesus, died in shame because of greed. The Bible recorded that he was in charge of the treasury. All along Judas was filled with greed. His words as a disciple were far from the actions he displayed behind the scenes. Here's a clue to what Judas did before Jesus was arrested and crucified. Mark chapter 14 verses 44 and 45 says, Judas had given them a prearranged signal. You will know which one to arrest when I go over and give him the kiss of greeting. Then you can take him away under guard. As soon as they arrived, Judas walked up to Jesus. Teacher, he exclaimed and kissed him. Notice that Judas called Jesus a teacher, but had an evil plan in mind. His words never matched his actions. 
and everything he did while working with Jesus was religious and not from the depth of his heart. Take a moment to imagine how Jesus had poured out himself to his disciples daily, teaching, blessing, encouraging, and imparting them, yet Judas rose to project darkness instead of light. No one who walks through a crooked path will arrive at a safe location. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 9 justifies this truth. It says, People with integrity have firm footing, but those who follow crooked paths will slip and fall. Dear friend, if you notice that those around you never stand for righteousness with their words and actions, that's a sign they may have bad intentions towards you. You may have shared your weaknesses with them and they promised to pray for you, but alas, they only ended up sharing your secrets with others. Anyone that manifests such a habit should not be close to you. Don't give them a space in your heart. They are around you to harm you. Beloved, God has opened your eyes to these signs so that you stay alert and never play ignorant in your sojourn in this world. Put on the whole armor of God always and in all you do, trust the Holy Spirit for direction. Shalom.